Hey Upside, what's in the box? That's what you might be asking yourself, or um, asking me, but I'll never tell my secret until you watch this intro. Upside Pogs. Okay, there we go, there's the intro. <laughs> This is a very very strange and special animatronic because it comes from a new animatronic company called Kiki Koala. First it was given to Halloween Haunter to kind of review, but then he said he didn't have time, but uh, I have time. So he handed it over to me to uh, bestow my judgment upon it. This company is just selling these animatronics on like Amazon and uh, they are very interesting. This one is called Mega Dave. Yes, Mega Dave, I'm not joking, that's its name. <laughs> Like there's other ones, one is called Balthazar, one is called Nefario, and another one is AVL Tim. Like their spider is named Freaky Phil with a PH. <laughs> that is awesome, I love, the, I love those names. That's like a reason alone to buy them is because their names are so goofy. Anyways, this is Mega Dave. It's a uh, eight foot zombie and uh, I forgot its price, so I'm just gonna put the price right here. Once we build it, we can kind of judge if it's worth it. But first things first, Let's open up this box. Okay, okay. Let's see. Judge this fella. Oh, wow. Okay, this is what we've got right out of the box. We've got, uh, dang, this is gonna be built very differently. I didn't really think about that, but it is made by like a different, a uh, new company, so I'm not gonna be used to the type of setup this is. But this seems like it's chest piece combined with the clothes. Interesting. I'm gonna set that aside. Uh, its hands, oh, these are cool. Its hands are huge. I mean, it is like an eight foot zombie. Maybe I didn't really realize how big this guy's gonna be. <laughs> Here's a boatload of poles, good for standing on. Some foam, I'd assume to cover up the poles. He's got like combat boots, which is pretty cool. They're, they look like small though, relative to his hands. Like his hands are bigger than his shoes. I'm gonna lay this down now. <clears throat> We've got its main body piece. Oh man, that is cool. Oh nice, the speaker's in the front. It looks like it's outdoor rated as well, so that is uh, pretty awesome. I'm just gonna take a wild guess and assume that the arms are gonna come uh, and move because there's a motor right here. Also kind of strange the way that this came connected. Here's an adapter with some stakes, so it really is ready to be just like put outside. Some more clothes. Just move all this cardboard out of the way. Oh wait. Oh, this is probably its head. I'm gonna save this for later Because uh, we only have a couple parts left here. It's arms. I would assume one's a lot more straight than the other I didn't really expect that some more cardboard and its base. Oh wow. Oh, this is actually crazy Look at this What the heck and I'm guessing that's a stabilizer, but um, let me kick that box out of the way But dang this is a awesome look looking base like I don't wanna like butter them up too much, but this is actually really good. <laughs> or at least it looks good. I mean like, I can't really judge the welds. I'm not a welder or anything. I don't know what great welds look like. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and start up the demo. Oh wait, no! I haven't even looked at the head yet. Sorry, I was just so enamored by the base. Okay, moment of truth. Let's look at the head. Ooh. <laughs> look at that. That's awesome. Does it move its mouth? I think it does. I feel like a little plastic thing under here. So from what I know so far now, just from pulling out the parts, is that it moves its mouth, its eyes light up, and uh, its arms move. It also has audio, of course. Its nose is kind of squished from the packaging, but just a little fix on that. Pretty common for anything that's latex. I can't really tell if this is like latex or vinyl. It doesn't feel like latex. If it's vinyl, then that's awesome because this is meant to be outdoors. So I'm like, why would it be latex? Also, here's the inside, just in case you wanted to see it. <coughs> and throw away the box. Okay, now it's time to build. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna use the instructions because I never use the instructions. Uh, that might be a little bit of a risk because I've never built an animatronic made by Kiki Koala, but uh, I kind of wanna, I wanna go on this journey with you. Now, instead of A, B, C, D on like other animatronics, these have numbers. This one is two. So you could kind of guess like one, two, three, four. It's just like, you know, you learn this stuff in, in preschool. Not even in preschool, in your like most formative years. You know, one step in, I'm already making a mistake. Uh, this one goes over here because it's got this thing on the back that you're supposed to hook the the stabilizer thing too, right over here. There we go, nice. Okay, just gonna attach these. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna add his boots. I don't believe that it really matters which one goes which. Go, my boots. Nice. 
Now time for this foam here. I believe this one with the slit taken out of it is meant for this leg since it's meant to make room for that stabilizer piece. Okie dokie, there we go. Now it's time for his pants. Are these his pants? I'm not sure. This is like a really good material. No, this is his, um, his coat. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, I gotta point this out. Look at this. I don't know if it's gonna focus, let's see. This is like really nice material. This is like ringmaster coat kind of thing. I did not expect that from this. So I've attached the body, arms, and head. It was all pretty easy. Unfortunately, with the pants, you could like see through them, um, in, through these holes, and you just like see the structure of them and, the, and like the foam. But unlike that with the chest, you've got this plastic uh, molded bloody thing, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> I realized something uh, very devastating. I need a step ladder <laughs> in order to get up here and add, add his hat on. Oh yeah. Oh cool, and there's like a wire in his hat. So you can kind of like adjust it to be whatever like shape you want. All right, there we go. He is looking absolutely stunning. Man, that is a, that is a huge zombie, oh my goodness. So we've got the stakes. I'm not gonna really need these, at least not right now. And here is its adapter. Ooh, nice. Very, very long. Good for the, good for the tallness of this animatronic. Some animatronics like Crouchy don't have long adapters, even though they're big animatronics. And it's like really unfortunate. Hooking up a zombie, connecting all the wires. Oh yeah! The slit in his back should have been lower because the control box is like right over here. And so it's just like really hard to reach in and try to get to all that. But you know, I'm figuring it out. I'll get through it. Okay, I believe I have everything connected. I'm gonna go ahead and plug him in and uh, see if everything's working. Ooh, he's resetting. Dang, that is a long activation. What the heck? That's cool. I like it. I, I, at first, I was like, I didn't like his audio, but it grew on me really quickly as I, as I kept hearing it. It's almost like roaring. It fits the like huge size of the character. It's kind of like intimidating. In person, of course. On video, it doesn't look so crazy, but in person, he's just huge. I think I, hmm. I think I'd go as far to say that this is the best zombie this year. We haven't gotten many zombies, and uh, we haven't gotten any giant zombies like this. And I don't know, I'm a sucker for big things, and this is just a really big, cool, intimidating zombie. Uh, if, I, if I had to like suggest some improvements, its shoes are too small for it. It's like kind of obvious its shoes are too small for it. Um, its back is really hard to like get into. The eye lights flickering kind of give off a cheap vibe because that's something that a lot of Sunstar animatronics would have, but no animatronics that are in like retail stores like Home Depot or Spirit Halloween have like flickering eye lights. Just have the eyes just like turn on and stay on for the activation. It's just more professional looking that way. One other thing is that the, um, this part around the neck doesn't really fit around the zombie's actual neck, or at least I haven't personally found a way that it can fit. But uh, despite these, flaws or things they could improve upon. This is a like insane animatronic to come out with like as your first like animatronics you're ever making. Cause remember this is like a brand new company that's selling these things and they immediately reached out to these content creators like Halloween Haunter to offer them these animatronics to kind of give them some extra promotion. And I'm like that's an awesome kind of like way to go about it. And usually these companies don't immediately go to the content creators. So, you know, I kind of want to see them succeed. Anyways, I think I totally would recommend this animatronic. It's just uh, absolutely massive, a big zombie. Um, its audio is pretty cool and intimidating. 
it is definitely not without its flaws, but um, I do believe it's worth the price. Oh, Kevin, Kevin, hi, hi, Kevin, hello, how are you doing? <laughs> I don't know if you can see him. Wait. Kevin, oh, 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 Kevin, no, <laughs> you hit my microphone. <laughs> hey, Kevin, Kevin, hi, hi. Yeah, okay, doggy. What do you think of this zombie? What's your, what's your opinion? How, how would you rank this zombie? I think Kevin likes it. I think he's uh, he's pretty passive towards any animatronic. <laughs> Let's turn it on again. I just want to see it go again. Woo! Oh, there it goes. Oh, I have to stop it to like give this last note. Um, Kiki Koala, if you're watching, I hope you've taken some of my notes of like criticism, but um, the mouth is reversed. Like it closes when it should be open and it's open when it should be closed. That's something that Carnival Carl from Home Depot had that uh, I wasn't really a fan of. It's kind of, it's kind of an old way of doing things, but uh, for improvements of, of like future models or just future animatronics in general, try to have the, the mouth like open only when it's making noise and not open by default. Now that's not a very big deal. It's just kind of a, uh, a little thing to help out the company to improve. I don't think that a lot of people will, will care a whole lot because it's not super duper noticeable, especially like during Halloween, people are, aren't gonna be looking at the zombie moving its mouth and making noise and go like, wait a minute, it's closing its mouth instead of opening it. I am uh, thoroughly enjoying this animatronic though. I'm gonna turn off the lights and continue to let it go. I'm gonna just <coughs> adjust its jacket. There you go. Again, really nice jacket. I also enjoyed the amount of paint there is on him because a, a, a more lazy company would just like have it be <coughs> the color that the jacket just comes in and they wouldn't add any like extra painting or detail or, or like the color would be printed on, but this is actually uh, painted on. Yay! Go zombie, go! Yeah! The motion sensor is really nice. I'm so glad that it's not a light and sound sensor. <laughs> Honestly, like I would recommend this animatronic. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm a moderate fan of it. Definitely one of the best zombies this year, if not even like the best zombie because it definitely beats the one from Big Lots. But you know, that's kind of a low bar because um, this one comes with an adapter cord. So it's already beat Big Lots. <laughs> and honestly, I would be down for like unboxing and reviewing any of the other animatronics because I think it's worth giving this company a chance. At least if any of the other things are as good as the zombie is, which I would imagine they are. I don't know why they would be different. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed the video and uh, I shall see you in the next one. Remember to subscribe and see you later. Bye bye. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>